My name is Natalia and I am the head of marketing for Fazenda. Fazenda has five different restaurants at the moment. Uh, the one where we are now is Leeds, our first one founded in 2010. We also have a restaurant in Liverpool, Manchester, Edinburgh, Birmingham. And this year in 2023, our first London restaurant will open in Fazenda Bishopsgate. We are a traditional South American rodizio. We welcome our guests to our home. We delight them with a selection of freshly grilled meats and also a very sumptuous array of dishes from our market table. All of this is complemented by a, a list of exquisite wines and curated drinks from our bartenders just to round up their experience. When we started looking for solutions to be able to achieve a better level of communication we used both Slack at first and then Facebook Workplace. Neither of them had everything that we needed to not only communicate, but achieve things. We needed more. We needed more organization. Um, if tasks needed to be completed, we needed to know who was supposed to do them, by when, what were the details. That's when I went to Google. We found Soho Connect and that is the way in which we communicate on a daily basis. We had actually now found something that was going to work for us for the foreseeable future. Change is always um, challenging because we need to adapt as humans. We are never going to say, yay, another change. But when you see the benefits, then you buy into things. Our Soho Connect is divided in groups some are public, some are private, so we have a social one where we share if there's a yoga class in Leeds and people can join. But then we also have a structure of groups for our daily work. So reception, management, senior management, complaints. Our team members use Zoho and click on their phones and their computers or laptops. I'm here with you today, for example, and I checked in on Click and I put on my status that I was in Leeds with Soho team. Just by changing our status on Click, people are able to know with a quick glance whether a team member is available on annual leave, busy, in the middle of service, or, or, or available to take a call. There is no way that you can have smooth communication with people who are in different places at different times unless you use a com common ground and this is our common ground. You have everything from the feed, which is where every single post from groups where you belong is published. Then you have tasks, and tasks are divided into task boards, task boards for yourself or for your team or for various teams. Within task, you can put a title, a description, you can put different assignees, priorities, start dates, due date for our menu launches. We now have task board templates and in those task boards, everyone who is involved in a menu launch is part of, of that task board. Then you have manuals as well. Manuals have been a really useful thing for us because we have relationships and events managers in each city. And we have a manual called Relationship Marketing Manual. When we hire a new REM, that is their Bible. Every single topic within the work that they do is explained and covered there. You also have a forum section. You can not only create a post, you can have announcements that you can pin at the top. You can create events, create polls or questions. I remember when we have a new Fazenda baby being born or when we have someone's birthday, uh, we can add a GIF, you know, um, to make it more visually attractive for everyone. and. People can comment and people can add their support or add their congratulations to any other team member that is being mentioned. We have learned through these years since 2018 that there is always a way to learn more about the platform and make better use of it. It's a platform that is happy to evolve, progress, add new features, having these tools is invaluable to us. I don't know if we would be able to have the same level of organization, communication and achievement if we didn't use Connect. We added Soho Creator 
um, which we use to sign in any visitor that we have. We developed our own visitor signing app within Creator. By visitor, I mean any supplier that might need to do work or us today uh, with the work that we're doing here in Fez and the Lead. So anyone for health and safety reasons to account for absolutely everyone who is inside the restaurant, we use that that um, Soho Creator application. Having the ability to customize it to fit just your needs, prices. And with Soho Social, which is a, a social scheduling platform, you can add different team members, you can also use different permissions. It allows us to schedule social posts to different networks and you have a variety of channels that you can connect, the usual Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, but you can also connect Google My Business, um, which not every other platform actually allows you to do. I haven't seen any others. There might be others, but Soho was the first one that I actually saw that allows you to connect your Google My Business there as well. Um, in our case, we use it for LinkedIn. So even though we only use it for LinkedIn, you can schedule and manage conversations for all platforms. And it also allows you to get comments and manage comments from those social platforms. So it covers all bases. Another, it might sound small, but it's actually incredibly big for us and useful. So our REMs, our Relationships and Events Managers, they might share specific brand copy with partners. For example, Valentine's Day for partners like Marketing Manchester or Visit Leads to share with their own subscribers or audience. And within that, they either need to share a hyperlink to the reservations page or to the menu. So the REMs via me, can get a shortened link that allows us to track then visit clicks for any or each of the hyperlinks that they need to share within those texts. Having the ability to have that shortened link, which is a small thing, allows you to have something big, which is a track of how many actual clicks were in that link. We use Soho Projects as a higher level of project management. Um, the marketing team, I can tell you what we use it for. Um, our designer is an independent contractor and the way in which we handle projects with him is via Soho Projects. So we added him because you have the ability to add members or external members in projects. So he's an external member there. We have different milestones, so we can have food menus, drinks menus, wine menus, business cards, miscellaneous for anything that doesn't fit anywhere. And within that, I just go there, my team goes there, creates a task for him, deadline, um, priority, all the details, and he uploads the work there. And you can customize both their access and also notification level. Maybe a member of my team has an idea or a solution or an alternative to something that we're working. The other alternative, again, would be email. That would not happen if we didn't have him within Soho Projects as an external user. The alternative would be to just do it via email. So I send him an email, this is what I need, you send me the attachment when you have the design ready. But it would also mean that if I have to look at something that, if you're my designer, that you did in 2020, I have to go and search in my emails. How non-efficient is that? <laughs> Whereas here, those milestones never change. The milestone that is food menu, since 2018, every single food menu that we have designed is there. So if my MD turns around and says, can you, can you get the food menu from 2019? I want to see if we had this in the menu. In two, three clicks max, I have that for him.